Fallout 76 is a massively popular game. It'll take a new player many weeks to get the hang of it. However, most people create a new character to start afresh after discovering their faults. The goal of this tutorial is to help new players start playing the game in the most informed and productive way possible from day one. The majority of these tips are really basic and are solely intended for beginner players. For new gamers, it'll clarify a lot of things. The game cannot be saved manually. When you exit the game, it's immediately saved. Your camp is also saved, but it vanishes from the map and is unavailable to other players until you play again. When you sign in again, you respawn near your last location. Before signing off, it's a good idea to return to your camp or another safe spot. The game cannot be paused. Once started, it then runs until you exit. Your Pip-Boy has a solid view similar to that of Fallout 4, as well as a new transparent view. Change the Pip-Boy's view to transparent to keep an eye on your surroundings while checking anything in the Pip-Boy. You'll be automatically signed out of the server if you don't move your character for a long time. Avoid this by putting your character in photo mode or finding a means to keep him active, like placing him in a corner and placing something on the controller stick to keep him actively running into the corner. You're in the vault when the game begins and there's a bed in the room. Before venturing out for the first time, sleep on it till the vault boy animation indicates that you're now refreshed. This gives you bonus XP for two hours of gameplay time. Always get some sleep before you begin playing on any given day. These bonus XP points build up quickly, allowing you to level up more quickly. Sleeping on the ground, never a good idea. Always sleep in a bed if possible. You'll catch an illness if you sleep on the floor on a mattress. Then you'll need either a disease cure, an antibiotic, a healing salve, or symptomatic to make the disease go away. Or you'll have to experience the side effects for a set amount of time, generally 15 minutes. These are the different rewards you can get while playing. With the addition of seasons, a new reward system known as score points can be gained in addition to XP. Score is awarded for completing daily weekly activities. This used to give you atoms, but it no longer does. Leveling up on the legendary run scorecard and claiming special prices with score points. Treasury notes. Treasury notes are awarded as rewards for finishing events and daily Wastelander quests but only after the main Wastelander quest line has been completed. Following events will provide you with treasury notes. Two treasury notes for tea time, swarm of suitors, riding shotgun, primal cuts, path to enlightenment, jailbreak, guided meditation, feed the people, Fasnacht day, and campfire tales. Three treasury notes are offered for photo opportunity, vital equipment, the importance of communication, retirement plan, uranium fever, one violent night, mischief night, load bearing, line in the sand, heart of the swamp, Grom's meat cook, and free range. Four treasury notes are offered for scorched earth, radiation rumble, project paradise, and encrypted. Eight treasury notes are offered for a colossal problem. Treasury notes would then be used to purchase gold bullion from the foundation and craters gold press machines. One note equals 10 bullion. Unlike GBs and LSs, there's no limit to how many treasury notes a character can have. Scripts, legendary scripts, legendary scripts or LS have a limit of 1000. In addition to XP and score points, public events which are indicated with an exclamation mark will award legendary scripts. Scripting legendary armor and weapons in script machines located at all train stations as well as at Rusty Pick with a daily maximum of 150 LS can also be obtained. These scripts can be exchanged for legendary modules, armor and weaponry at the purveyor. A player's character can only hold 1000 LSs at a time. Gold bullion. Bullion purchases are restricted to a maximum of 20 per day. 
The limit refreshes after 20 hours. Treasury notes would then be used to purchase gold bullion from the foundation and Crater's gold press machine. One note equals 10 bullion. Experience or XP points and atoms. Atoms are used to make purchases in the atomic shop. Next is quests. Fallout 76 quests are sorted as follows. The main quests, miscellaneous quests, side quests, daily quests, wild Appalachia quests, wastelander quests, legendary run quests made up of two miscellaneous and one side quest, one wasteland for all quest made up of daily ops, uplink and one side quest, steel dawn quests made up of nine main and one side quest, and allied quests. The following are the main quests that must be completed first. Reclamation Day is the first mission you'll complete within Vault 76. First contact should come next. Then at Flatwoods, complete the first two responders quests. First things first and second helpings. Don't go to Morgantown Airport yet for the third mission final departure. Follow the main quest solely until you're told to head to Morgantown Airport. The third quest line to complete initially is the Wastelanders quest, which is initiated by speaking with the two females you meet as you exit Vault 76 near the stairs. As a low level player you can complete the first four missions in this series. The following four missions beginning with the new arrivals may only be completed after reaching level 20 then it'll be activated automatically. Ignore the event quests at first. Event quests are activated when you enter a specific region. They are generally timed and will reoccur. When you enter Flatwoods the first event quest you'll present presumably face is fertile soil. When an event is automatically triggered, its waypoints are added to your compass. If you're on a quest, remember to disable the event in your pip boy, otherwise your navigation will be hampered. You'll wind up at the event site rather than the mission location. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like. If you learned something new, subscribe. If I've made any mistakes or you had a good laugh at my expense, let me know in the comments below. And let me know if you've enjoyed these beginner tips. If so, I'll continue to make more episodes. Thanks for watching. Cheers for now.